As you maybe already know, I decided to swatch all of my watercolors. And today I have the Daily Roni watercolors here. On the left side, I will be swatching the Aquafine from Daily Roni. So I have this 24 set, which you can see here. Um, it is, I think, a student grade, but I'm not really sure if it is advertised as a student, but I think it is. Um, and on the right side, I'm going to swatch my artist Daily Roni uh, watercolors. So those ones are really called artist, and these ones are called Aquafine. But as I said, for these ones, it does not say anywhere that they are student ones. But I would say that Aquafine is something like Winsor Newton Cotman uh, serial. So. I would compare them with those ones. But as I said today, I'm just gonna swatch and just have fun with this. I'm not doing a review or anything, but at the end I will give you a couple of my thoughts about these colors. But as I said, it is not going to be a real review and or testing this time. So I just wanted to see the colors that I already have.
So on the left side I have the daily Rooney Aquafine and on the right side are the artist uh, watercolors. And for my test, yes, I do see the difference. These were these the artist colors do flow better on the paper. Uh, the problem I had were these two and actually I have not been using them for uh, a lot because even at that time, every time I want to use them, it's really hard to dissolve the pigment. It is somehow, uh, it, the surface is somehow really slippery. So I have not been using uh, these two a lot from time to time, yes, but it is a little bit more difficult to dissolve the pigment. Other ones uh, work nicely. As you saw, uh, the black one I already almost used up. Um, what else? So yes, I've written down also the light fast informations for the artist grade. And there are some changes in the numbers because I do have these for, I, I think, at least six years. And what happens after some times is that they do fall out, as you can see. So I was now checking all the, the names and I saw that I had one or two in the wrong compartment. So I did write the number right, but now I corrected that. It should be okay, I hope. <laughs> Either way, in this set, there are no colors with light fastness. Um, with two stars, so all of them have three or higher. Four is the maximum. So maybe I should write maximum stars is one, two, three, and four. Just that we have also that information here. And yeah, as I said, I have been using them a lot, but I'm actually mixing these ones with the Jackson ones and these ones I think I've used them one or two times. I bought this Aquafine set just like for traveling and usually I actually use the artist grade ones. And as I said, they, the artist grade ones, they do feel better on the paper. So the Aquafine colors should also have light fastness of three. Oh, they got stuck. Great. Uh, the problem is that the information about the color name and light fastness was actually on top of the pens, which is really strange. As you can see here, maybe there is still some sign visible. Um, so it was actually like a, like a print on top of them, which is of course go gone. So I'm not really able to write either the names or uh, the numbers or the light fastness, but I checked on the internet, so the light fastness should be at least three stars. I did not see any with two stars also on this list. So just that you know, yeah. So that's it with these ones. So there is just like, um a small difference in the intensity of the colors, the one from the artist are more intensive and the colors feel much nicer. Whereas if you look at the three yellows from the Aquafine, well, for me, they either look muddy or yeah, they are not really my favorite <laughs> yellow colors. And I think if I would have to choose now bef between Aquafine and uh, Van Gogh, I will definitely go with the Van Gogh. But as I said, I, li I like the artist um, Daily Rooney watercolors. Okay guys, so thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.